my friends, I'm so excited to be with you today. Let's stand up on our feet so that way we can sing a song to God, okay? I'll be back soon. For our Bible adventure? Do you know what we need for our Bible adventure? We need our Bibles, don't we? And who words are in it again? God's words. You are so right. Well, today we will be in the New Testament, which is the back half of our Bible, in the book of Luke in chapter 22. But before I dive into our story, I want to tell you a story of my own. One time, I was hanging out with a friend, and we had walkie-talkies. She would be in one part of the house, and I'd be in the other part of the house, and we could talk forever, saying whatever we wanted to on these walkie-talkies. Well, after a little while, we went out to a different house, and we thought we could still use the walkie-talkies in the car. After some time driving, though, I lost her, and I couldn't talk to her anymore. But once we both arrived at the house, we were able to talk and have Tons of fun and play using the walkie-talkies again. Well, in our story today, one of Jesus' friends, Peter, will follow Jesus from a distance and eventually lose connection with Jesus. So let's put on our listening ears and button and zip our lips so that way we can hear what exactly happened. So, after Jesus was arrested, the officers took him to the house of the high priest. Peter followed them at a distance. After a while, the officers started a bonfire in the middle of the courtyard where they sat around. Peter eventually joined them around the fire. And from the light of the fire, a servant girl saw Peter seated there, and she looked at him very closely and said, This man was with him. But Peter denied it. He said, Woman, I don't know him. 
A little while later, someone else saw Peter and said, You also are one of them. Again, Peter denied it, saying, Man, I am not. But Peter had spent so much time with Jesus, one more person recognized him. He said, Certainly this fellow was with him, for he is a Galilean. Peter became frustrated and told him, Man, I don't know what you're talking about. At this very moment, Jesus turned to look at Peter. In that moment, they locked eyes. Peter then remembered a conversation he had with Jesus. Jesus told Peter that he would deny Jesus three times before the rooster crowed that day. But Peter argued with Jesus and told him that he would never deny knowing Jesus. After Peter realized what had happened, he went outside and cried because he was sad and sorry that he had denied Jesus. My friends, sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes we try our best to be good, but we still aren't able to do what we want to do. Jesus knows that. Jesus knew that Peter was going to deny knowing him. That's why he wants you to be his friend forever, so that way he can help you follow him and be God's friend forever. He can help us love others and forgive them when they say they're sorry. He can help us be kind. Being God's friend forever is a good thing that we don't deserve, but he offers it to us anyways. If you ever have any questions about what it means to be God's friend forever, don't ever wait to ask. You can even go now if you would like. For those of you who are still with us, I have some questions for you. Are you ready? My first question is, what did the people ask Peter? Do you remember? They asked him if he knew Jesus, didn't they? How many times did Peter say that he did not know Jesus? Do you remember? Three times. One, two, three. Good job. And how did Peter feel after he locked eyes with Jesus? Do you remember? After he said that he didn't know Jesus, what happened? He became sad and sorry because he had denied knowing Jesus three times. My friends, we don't have to be like Peter who acted like he didn't know Jesus. Instead, we can be happy and share the good news about God's love for us. I had fun learning about Jesus' love for us with you, and I hope that you did too. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.